Hey everybody, this is Spoonie, and today I want to take a quick look at RAND switches and how they work. RAND stands for random, and that's exactly what this switch does. It randomly rolls true or false whenever power is received into its set input connection. The component also has a reset connection, which will restore its default position regardless of how many times it receives power. In other words, the set connection is random, while the reset connection is not. A clear way to think of this is like a light switch that has two buttons. The top button is random, and you don't know whether or not the light will turn on or off when you press it, while the bottom button is not random and will always Always turn the light on if pressed. The RAM switch's default position is false, and in the false state it will allow power to flow through the component. You can tell which state the switch is in simply by looking at it. If the bottom light is red, then it's in the false position and power is flowing through it. If it's green, the switch is in the true position and power is not flowing through it. This might seem counterintuitive and is the opposite for a lot of other components, so it can be a bit confusing. So let's take a look at how this works. To demonstrate this, I've set up a simple repeater. What this does is sends a pulse into the set input connection every one second. The randomized outcome can be seen by the light turning on and off at random intervals. The reset connection could be pressed at any time to reset the switch into its default position, allowing power to flow through it. In other words, if the set connection receives power multiple times, it will continue to roll true or false, making the set connection essentially a toggle switch that has a randomized outcome. The reset connection will always reset the RAND switch to its false position and allow power to pass through it. If the reset position receives power multiple times in a row, the outcome will not be different. Admittedly, there aren't a lot of practical uses for these, but I will show you one example of what I use them for to make my turret setup just a little bit more annoying to deal with. What I often do is set up a system that has my turrets that are facing my base placed behind doors which will randomly open and close whenever someone comes within range. This is helpful in stopping would-be raiders from taking them out at a distance, or at least has them working just a little bit harder by forcing them to time their attacks. By randomizing when the doors will open and close, we can add just one more obstacle. And because the doors will only open or close when someone is within range, they'll likely be taking fire while trying to time these attacks. For those of you who would also like to use this type of setup, I'll make another video that goes over exactly how it works. But I'd like to keep this video specifically about the RAND switch. When that video is ready, I'll post it down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.